Good day and welcome, my name is Rick, and this is 7 Days to Light Darkness Force mod. So, as you can see, we have built the horde base. But there was kind of a problem. Because the computer turned off, apparently because of a power thing. Electrical power thing. So, a character got reset to level 1. So, we don't have any kind of perks, anything in here. We take the farmer and labor again. And we still have all our stuff, of course. But all of the good stuff that we had was on our character that got deleted by the game for some reason. So yeah, I'm not gonna get that back. I have looked in save files and all other stuff. So pretty annoying. But maybe also in a good way, because we have the trader quest again. You can see, there you get when you start a new one. We just started at day 20 again. So, pretty shitty. But what I'm thinking is, we're gonna take the hot night, we're gonna get a lot of experience from it. Hopefully. Yeah. Maybe that is a good thing. I'm going to do like I did last time with... No audio on the thing. Couldn't make any more cement mix because cannot make cement. Well, at least not the cement mix, I think. I don't know. I haven't tried. Well, actually, we could make the cement mix. But it would just take a lot longer because the skill right here was full a character and these two were full means that we have a higher forge stuff or a lot less time on the forge and such so it's really just a major setback but I think that it is going to go quite fast with getting to the point where we were because we are already at concrete tier yeah, uh, hopefully. Also, our game stage got we were set back as well. So, yeah, instead of was it eighty five? Yeah, game stage four. So, yeah, I'm gonna do it as last time. Shut up while the hot night is going, and you afterwards. So I will cut to that now.
We survived the hot night quite well, actually. I'm gonna remove that stuff. That's annoying. But we have the new trader right here. One of the things that I found quick, very odd, very quickly is when I looked at the map, I thought that our character was completely wiped. But apparently it's only the skills that were wiped and the inventory. inventory. So I don't know if I stood at a place that was bad because we have all of this stuff where we have been traded down here. Is that one? Yeah. Right where we sleep, of course. Gonna call T1. Now we have this trade up here. Which is Joel again. So yeah. It's quite weird to have like full fresh, fully uh, new character without being fully new. So yeah. Have to work with that. So just how it is. But we did survive the hot night, so that's the most important thing. Uh, I'm going back to one that we stay at and work on stuff. The point for the next bit was actually to go on a journey to the desert trader, the doctor down there, and stay there for a little bit. But with the fact that I lost. I don't know how many levels I haven't looked at the video back, but I can imagine that it's around 90 levels or something like that. Being at level 90 and now we are at level 14. So, lost 20 days of progress without losing 20 days of progress, which is quite odd. But that's just how it's gonna be. This time we are gonna do more focused on uh, Pommel Pete and all that stuff. And yeah, this one instead of Blader Skills, I think. So it's weird to be able to change that up in a playthrough without using the Grandpa Elixir. But yeah, my name is Frederick. This has been the Days to Die Darkness Falls mod. Yeah, goodbye.